for the first time in the series. Yep. I don't think you can even touch water in Zelda 1. Let's see, and from King Zora, walk directly southward to find a waterfall. Swim towards it to jump down to the lower area. Oh, just directly south, okay. Alright, so, down from here. Can I swim walk. first? Uh... Walk go. down and to the left, find an area of land. Keep walking over and collect a piece of heart number nine. Nice. Oh, nice. Yay! And now we've got another heart, heart container. Jump down in there, waterfall, and exit towards waterfall at the southwest portion of the screen. Alright. No, no, south. Boy, wait, you're right. Alright. Oh, is that it? Or... Uh, oh, wait. Can I go in here? Walk to the left side of Yay. the screen. Is this what we're looking for? <clears throat> Let's see. Hold up. Yo. After throwing in an item, a fairy will appear, giving asking Link if he dropped the item. Say yes, and the fairy will give Link back his weapon. There are a few upgrades Link can get via this pond. If you toss in your boomerang, you'll get the magical boomerang. Toss in your fighter shield, you'll get the fire shield. Or you can throw an empty bottle and you'll get a medicine of magic. So I can't, I can't do anything with this right now, I guess. Because I already have a blue potion on me. What was it called? Cure all medicine, yeah. It basically just refills all your hearts and uh, magic. If it works the same way as the other games. Alright, where are we heading? Um, you're supposed to do something a fairy will appear immediately. Yeah, well, I threw, threw the the uh, bow and arrows. Go back in. You know, is there any is there anything we can like get uh, out of these? The boomerang will be upgraded if you throw it in. Oh, the boomerang, okay. <sighs> nice! Red boomerang. I think it's also a better offensive weapon as well. Is there anything else we can get? Your shield, your fighter shield. Alright. I don't know if it if you have to back out to make it count again, but we'll see. Okay, good. Can we upgrade our sword at all? I don't. Know. I'll, I'll try it, I guess. Because you can only throw certain objects into the water. Oh, I can Skype cycle around here and we can throw our sword in. Let's see if it does anything though. No. Okay. So oh, wow. Don't drop it again. <laughs> well, I guess that's it then. Uh, empty the bottle and then you can. It's like um. Hmm. Do we want to do that though? I don't feel- I don't feel like I want to waste a blue potion. What is the medicine of magic? If we need it, then I'll do it, but... If you toss in the blue- if you toss in the empty one, medicine of magic, that's a green- Oh, that's a green potion. Okay, no, I don't want that. <laughs> that doesn't refill hearts at all. Alright. Just south of the mysterious pond, Link will find one of the Zora's waterways located yep. in the water. Portal looks like a mark where River Zora will pop out. Yeah. Link just scream. Nah, it's just the warp sound effect. Uh. Take Link to Lake Hylia. Oh, this is meant to be Lake Hylia? Yes. Oh. 
I guess it makes sense. Throughout every convention, you know from 3D Zelda because this ain't 3D. This is surely come true. Uh, do we? Uh, I, I, uh, how many? Uh, what is, how does this work? Throw in 5 to 20. Or 5 or 20. Okay. After tossing in some rupees, you can walk a few steps away from the pond and then walk back to toss in some more. Does it give me anything? Like, uh... Is there if, you throw if you throw 100 rupees in total, Venus, the Queen of Fairies, will appear, asking Link if you'd like to carry some more bombs or arrows. Uh, Choosing to carry more bombs increases his Link's capacity to 15. Choosing to carry more arrows increases Link's capacity to 35. Okay. I, I guess we can we can do both right now. We have enough. This might It's going to be a bit of back and forth, though, so I might just speed this up. <laughs> Exciting gameplay. I I see the uh, uh, wall on the right there, so we're gonna take a look at that later. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I don't wanna go over it either, cause then it will be a waste. To the right of the pond of happiness, Link and Bottle Wall to find some loose fairies to store in a bottle. Oh, it's just fairies. Right. But outside of the pond, you can jump into the water and swim to the northeast. Follow the narrow water pathway up a screen left uh, up a screen left the screen to reach the bridge. Swim towards it and Link will be taken to an area underneath the bridge. If you speak to the camper, he'll give you a third empty bottle. Or rather the third empty bottle. <clears throat> Wait, the third empty bottle? Yes. Oh, we only have one. Where's the second one? Oh. Alright. Hi. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna do both anyway. Yeah, you can do this up to you can do this several times. Oh, you can like, keep you can keep doing it. You can get maximum fifty bombs. Oh wow! And seventy arrows. Dang. Oh, let's just do one one for arrows and bombs. Oh, I can just do fifty rupees now. That's that's convenient. All right. Padding, padding. I meant to do 50. <laughs> oh well. I like that they give you all these uh, optional benefits kind of early on. Alright. It gives us more of a reason to. Uh, uh, we did bombs earlier, so. Yeah, arrows. Gives you more of a reason to hold rupees than um, Zelda 1 did. Let's just go here anyway. Yep. Oh well. So wait, I... wait, if you don't have any bottles to hold them, why'd you go for them? No, this is the only bottle we have. So if you, that's what I'm saying, if you don't have any, why'd you go for them? No, I just wanted to see them. <laughs> I just, I want to break all the, uh, no, no walls are safe. Let's uh, see, just outside the pond of happiness, jump into the water and swim to the northeast. Alright. Follow the narrow water pathway up a screen and left the screen to reach the bridge. Swim so toward it and Link will be taken to an area underneath the bridge. I'll give this game credit for feeling good at, uh, when you find the secrets. I'm not good at finding them by myself, but still. Oh, 
I like how that's like- oh, uh, that shouldn't- that shouldn't be able to work. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this before. Yo, scrap! <laughs> Alright, got another bottle. Alright, is that all? I like to, Im I like to imagine that guy's a neighbor. <laughs> It's like a um, uh, Mario Odyssey where you just see Captain Toad out in the world with a little tent. Alright, uh, you said that was the third ball, so where's the second one? No idea. Cause, uh, swim, you... swim back right and down the screen to return to Lake Hylia. Use yep. a nearby staircase to the right to resurface back on land. Right. Lock up a screen, left the screen, and then up two more screens. Cross the bridge and head up a screen along the left side. Walk left the screen to reach the Hylian, Hyrulean Cemetery. <laughs> oh, we're going back to the cemetery. Alright. Zelda series tends to use the terms Hyrulean and Hylian kind of interchangeably. What's up with that? Yeah, well, they basically mean the same thing as far as I can tell. Oh, my. I think when it says Hylian, I think it probably just means the actual race. Like the humans? The yeah. Elves, I guess. But like when it says, I, I I, could be wrong, but like I assume like when it says like Hyrulean, it means like the language and stuff like that. I don't know. I could be totally wrong about that. Uh, up or left? Let's see. Walk up a screen, left a screen, then up two screens. Okay. Wait a minute. Didn't you already... This is talking about secrets. This is the secret entrance to Hyrule Castle in the sewers. We already did that. Oh. <laughs> so, basically, when you're outside the cemetery... I mean, outside the sanctuary... Head left one screen, up one screen. Wait, is there something I can do here? Or is this just gonna make us go down again? Uh, I don't think I want that. Alright. Well, let's see. From just outside the sanctuary. From just outside the sanctuary, head left one screen and up one screen. Alright. What were you looking for exactly? Death Mountain. Oh. <laughs> uh, should we find, see where the ball is first, if we can get that? A what? The, uh, can we get a second, a third ball? Uh, no, don't get away. Yay. Interesting spelling of fairy. Well, the old English spelling. It was like F A E R I or something. Oh, that fairy. That is a way you can spell it, I think, but it's just weird. The Neil Pets way. <laughs> Link. Second bottle is located in Kar Kakariko Village. Oh. Okay, my controller just decided to stop working for a second. Alright, we're at Kakariko land. Alright, uh, where, where are we doing? From the southeastern part. Pattern. Yeah, I'm noticing a pattern as well. No, no, it's in the tavern. Oh, what? Tavern. 
Oh. Hmm. So wait, where, where can I get to that? There's been a tavern located in the southeastern part of the village. Entered a long building on its northern side and then went there. Entered a long building on its northern side where there is a secret entrance. Hmm. Yeah, there's something up. Hmm. How do I get through the? You have to go another way. Do I? The nor the northern side. Hmm. Oh, I d <laughs> didn't look like I could do that. Okay. Okay, cool. Just out in the open. Oh, hi. What the heck? Alright, cool, we got three balls. So we're going to the land of no, the fourth mountain. one is located south south of the eastern palace. But you need to get the tempered sword. Oh, where do we go for that? It's probably gonna be probably gonna backtrack for that. It's, tempered sword's probably up. I'm presuming it's some kind of upgrade or, or palace weapon. Mm. So is this all we can do now, or...? Yeah, we're not getting a tempered sword for a good while. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, back to the sanctuary. Alright, see. Well, I think I can just, uh, do this quickly. What if I... Just save and quit. Link. There we go. Top of Sanctuary. Why is one of your file names named Plank? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is me being stupid. Oh, yeah. It kind of sucks that we uh, don't have full health though when we restart. <clears throat> From just outside the Sanctuary, head left one screen and up one screen. Alright. We will 100% this game, dang it. It feels more... It seems actually doable. As long as we, like, uh, keep on going with the guide and all that. Ugh. Wait, is there anything up here? What's this? Are those supposed to be Talon and his brother? Not uh, Talon, what's this? Like, yeah, Talon, Malon's dad. <laughs> yeah, Talon and uh, Ingo? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that them? <laughs> uh, they don't... Maybe? I kinda like, doubt kind, it, but... They kinda, they kinda look like Mario to me. Yeah. Oh, that's a tease. I doubt we can get that now, but... We need to go back for the... to go to Death Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I guess we're never gonna get that Rufy. Oh, that should have killed him. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> Alright. Take the south park part, south path of Stagnamit at the next turn and walk to the wall on the right. No, you should <gasps> hop off the legend right at the first turn, my bad. Head right the first turn. Yeah. Then take the south path and walk to the wall on the right. There is a narrow path, there you go. Oh, okay. Mm. Avoid the pitfalls in this cave and walk to the far right side of the room. In other words, loads of people ended up dying trying to get this.
avoid the pitfalls in this cave and walk to the far right side of the room. At the end of the path, the old man tells Link to turn right, heading downward. Alright. Yep. Continue down the pathway to exit the cave, reaching Death Mountain. Are these little. They, they can't be Gorons, they look too small. Those aren't Gorons, they're dead rocks. Yeah. If you wander into a magical transport and gaze into this mirror. Yep. Right, that'll be a that'll be important <sighs> later on. Jeez. Dude, lucky to get a hit. Oh, okay, I didn't even know he could do that. That's nice. I'm sorry, is this house like actually built as a death mountain? If it is, I feel sorry for the guy, because, goodness, this is not, this is not a, a uh, friendly place to be. A dead rock will turn into stone if Link swipes at it with his sword. This becomes troublesome, as they can block Link path, Link's pathway. Wait, do, is there anything in this cave? Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Walk to the right after you go into the higher level of the old man's house. And climb the first set of, set of stairs that Link finds. Walk to the right and then up where Link will find a cave. Ignore it and instead walk all the way to the left side of the screen. Ignore the cave here and instead climb up the rather large staircase. Hmm. Supposed to go that way. Oh. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Go. You're supposed to, no, no, you're supposed to exit and then walk to the right. My bad. Oh. Uh. Like apparently we're never supposed to actually enter the cave. <laughs> oh. There's nothing in there of worth, then, I guess. Walk to the right and go to the first staircase you see. I do not like these boulders at all. They have really wonky hitboxes. Why do I just imagine Gorons chucking them down for fun? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's see, directly to the right of the large staircase, Link will find a cave that he can enter. Oh, wow. I'm slow at this. You were supposed to go to the right of the staircase you first climbed up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we need to, like, go through directions before we start the sessions. Yeah. These things are so weird. <laughs> To the right of the large staircase, Link will find a cave that he can enter. Directly south of the, this cave, Link can see another part of the cave that is along the cliff. Jump Wait. down to this cave. I. I... Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> like, uh. Like, it's on the ledges. Wait, what? Like the ledges. No, 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 I mean, it's like the... Uh, I don't know how to describe this. Something. It's on the let... Eh. You have to jump forward. No, back. Back, Nabbit, how do you describe this? <laughs> uh... I can't describe the axes of this game. I can't describe the orientation of this game because it's a 2D. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Basically, jump down to a lower level when you see an opportunity. Oh, right, right. So now... 
Uh, right, I'm just oh. down back here again. To the right of the large staircase, Link will find the. Wait, no, 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 no. Walk to the right and then up, where Link will find a cave. Ignore it and instead walk all the way to the left side of the screen. Okay. There's a cave here and instead climb up the rather large staircase. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. Yeah, get climbing up this place sucks. I think you are so slow at climbing it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. To the right of the large staircase, Link will find a cave that he can enter. Directly south of this cave, Link can see another part of the cave that is along the cliff. Jump down to this cave and enter it. Uh, this one or this one? Directly south. No, no, directly south. Walk up the staircase at the north end of the room, and then walk around to collect piece of heart number 10. Okay. Fall down the hole just below the heart piece and collect some fairies on the right if you if you'd like. Whoa. Okay. Does you have an empty bottle? You can you can get a fairy, right? Uh, I yeah, I can get a fairy or two. I can just do this, can't I? Nope, not strong enough. Alright. Wait, am I going the right way? <clears throat> oh. oh, the fairies are on the right, my bad. Oh, yeah. okay. Alright. Oh. Whee! <laughs> that shouldn't work, but it's funny. This helps things. No, oh, I shouldn't do that. I, I keep forgetting because like this game you have to use the ferry to do it. The uh, net rather. There we go. Nice. Got a full stack of fairies now. How many fairies can you keep in a bottle? Hmm. How many fairies can you keep in a bottle? Uh. It's just, it just de depends on how many uh, balls you have. Okay. Jump off the ledge and walk to the left area again. Climb the long stairs and then help eh, head all the way to the right. <clears throat> I get paranoid the rocks are gonna fall when I climb that. Link will find a trio of boulders in the middle of this area. Right in the center, Link will find a blue warp portal. This portal will take Link to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Does it actually say that? Maybe. Wait, is there anything in that cave? Nothing that's important. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, it's just the other side of this. So this is where things get a bit weird. Whoa, we're a bunny! 